Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am back with more of these Rolling Stone cards from 2006. And yes, we are opening the whole case. So we're going to grab three more packs to bust into. We have scored one guitar pick so far per this case. And uh, no duplicates on the tats. Or no, one duplicate on the tat and no duplicates on the cards yet. But we're getting close, I'm sure. So here are our next three packs that we're going to rip open and see what we got. There is info on the backs of the cards that look like this. And I'm reading, I'm reading the tongue to you. Let's see which tattoo we got. Ooh, I don't think we have this one. We are trying to get the whole set of cards. I'm pretty sure we're not going to score them, but it would be a lot to buy another case of these. But anyways, let's see what we got in this pack. Ooh, there's a Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger made his first cinema screen appearance in the 1970 movie performance starring as a semi-retired rocker in 1970. All right, so there's a semi-retired rocker. The Rolling Stones are the most enduring and successful entertainment partnership in live rock and roll music history. Ain't that something? Next one. The Some Girls album spawned a collection of singles from the Rolling Stones, including hits Far Away Eyes and Beast of Burden. Beast of Burden. All right, next one. The Rolling Stones closed out their 1973 winter tour in the land down under, playing its last show in coastal Sydney. That's pretty cool, though. Look at that. Oh, hey, this is the one we got. That's pretty awesome. The band got started on its maiden tour of the Britain in 1963 as an opening act for the Everly Brothers and guitarist Bo Diddley. That's pretty funny. Now that's some trivia, man. You could stump somebody on that shit. Uh, after a series of 48 shows around North America, the band's 1972 tour closed in New York with four triumphant concerts. Ba boom Nothing extra in that one. We're on to the next one. In pack number two. All right, this is a dupe. <laughs> Ooh, and I felt it. I felt it. Ba boom We got this guitar pick, which is different than our last one. So that's pretty awesome. Our last one was a little glittery. So we got a guitar pick during this one too. And now let's check out which cards we got. Let's see what we got. This one is a duplicate, so we will not be reading that one. This one, the Voodoo Lounge World Tour traveled across 26 countries and captivated 6 million fans during its passage. I'm telling you, amazing. The double LP Exile on Main Street became a number one hit album for the Stones in both the U.S. and U.K. after its May 1972 release. Boom. Next one. Charlie Watts focused on his drawing skills while studying graphic design at the Harrow Art School in downtown London. Boom. There you go. Look at that. Next. Some Girls is the Stones' number one selling studio record to date, having sold in excess of 8 million units since June of 78. Mask card right here. This one says the Rolling Stones classic chart topper, Let's Spend the Night Together, was censored by American television in 1967. Of course it was. I always say I missed a lot of good rock and roll in the 60s, but I also missed a lot of that. He can't shake his hips. Gotta censor that. You can't look at this and don't peep at that. Go on to our last pack of cards. Oh, sticker got stuck. And this is a repeat for the tattoo. So we already have that one. And now we're going to go through the cards. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We got a sticker. This is the card we keep getting dupes of, but it's a sticker. So that's pretty awesome. So we did score that. So we've scored a pick and this during this one. All right. So let's see which cards we got. 